Thank you. Om Shanti. This will be followed by a very short presentation of some of the vinays of the good times that we had with him. Some of the vinays of the good times that we had with him. Could we begin with a presentation, please, Sudhaji? Thank you. Dear friends, we've all come together on behalf of the NPSC to remember our dear friend and colleague, Mr. S.K. Bhattacharya, who had a very special place in the hearts of everyone, not only those assembled here, but all the educators who were connected to his life. He left us in March. He raged and raged against the falling light and did not go gently into that night, a testimony of his strength, spirit, and fruitful life that he led. He was a man of deep faith and believed in the innate goodness of people. He had a very unique understanding of education and could empathize with the feelings and desires of the young. Mr. Bhattacharya knew how to evaluate objectively, to encourage but not allow favor, to inculcate a love of community. His life and living was within itself a beautiful canvas that can never be replicated. You are now, sir, everywhere where we are and will remain in our hearts forever. His passing away was not sudden, but when it happened, I could not believe that he was no more. He left behind a legacy which is and will remain alive in all those whose lives he touched. He was ever smiling and sensitive. His joy and strength showed through his spirit. Mr. Bhattacharya, you may have passed on, but always remain enshrined in our hearts. This evening, there will be some renderings from different sources, which we feel will reflect some of the aspects of his personality. There will be tributes from some of the NPSC life members and principals. I ask Mrs. Meera Balachandran, former chairperson NPSC, who had a very long association and friendship with Mr. Bhattacharya to share her remembrances. Meera. All right. Uh, I have actually known Mr. Bhattacharya way back in the 70s. Uh, I had in fact appeared for an interview at Barbarati in 72. And then he told me, he said, Mrs. Balachandran, you're overqualified. So I cannot take you into the primary school. And I still remember him and that was the beginning of my association with Mr. Bhattacharya. We always respected him as a well-known educationist and more than anything as someone who knew the rules and regulations laid down by the government. I still remember he once had a meeting where he elucidated on the Delhi Education Act we were many principals there, young principals, and he made us understand it thoroughly. He was dependable and knowledgeable. He was always smiling and affectionate. Once I had an opportunity of meeting his daughter-in-law and I told him I found her very impressive. He was very happy and full of praise for her and told me a lot of wonderful things about her. So he was an educationist. He was well-versed in legal affairs and he was a family man too a father figure for many of us. We will miss you, sir, but we will remember you with a lot of love and respect. May his soul rest in peace. Nam myo Thank you. Thank you, Meera. 
ओम शांति आउट ऑफ लाइफ कम्स डेथ आउट ऑफ डेथ लाइफ आउट ऑफ थैंक यू वेरी मच मीरा जी out of life comes death and out of death life out of the young the old and out of the old the young out of waking sleep and out of sleep waking the stream of creation and dissolution never stops these lines are taken from the rigveda i now request dr usha ram former principal and chairperson of the mpsc who worked very closely with mr patacharya for many years and was a dear friend Usha thank thank you so much Amita thank you Shri Shushant Bhattacharya ji ex principal of Bal Bharati Gangaram Hospital Mark was holding the position of chairman at Bal Bharati Public School Training Center president action committee of private schools a strong principled committed to the cause of education his legal knowledge his association with all the people around in the education field whether government directorate of education cbsc or delhi government everywhere patacharya ji was a with full of ideas his fountain of ideas practical suggestions he used to give guidance how to face challenges with a smile and to resolve the crucial and uncomfortable situations sometimes when we had the elections and you know many more situations always poise with a perennial smile to soothe the hearts of young educators before i wind up i would like to mention two instances where i really went to him personally i know him from you know 70s is from 75 onwards from bharti vidya bhavan but i remember when i took over in sadhu vaswani as a principal and then in lakshman public school he was a mentor a guide i went to him i said sir i need your help he says don't worry i am there with you one call from me will give you all the help that you need go ahead i know you can do it i said sir i'm little he says he says no don't look back at all don't look back at all and then batacharya ji on the sands of time you have left your footprints with glory everyone in the education fraternity will remember your name and recall the committed educator and the leader you were i'm getting calls from so many teachers and principals after the photograph that we had put on that he was our first principal he was our first teacher and everybody remembers you batacharya ji you will always be a part of us a guiding force thank you so much rest in peace thank you amita for giving me this opportunity thank you thank you so much usha and if anyone asks who is he who dwells in a small shrine in the form of a small lotus flower in the center of the cas- castle of brahman who we should want to find perhaps it's you mr bhattacharya these words are taken from the aitya upanishad I now request Mr S L Jain former chairperson of the NPSC life member and also former principal of the Mahavir Jain school who had a very long and personal relationship with Mr Bhattacharya to share some thoughts on his friend Jain sir thank you Amita Bhattacharya ji ki smriti ko pranam unke bare mein char line है समय बड़ा बलवान के इसमें सब बह जाया करते हैं है समय बड़ा तूफान प्रबल पर्वत झुक जाया करते हैं अक्सर दुनिया के लोग समय में चक्कर खाया करते हैं लेकिन कुछ ऐसे होते हैं जो इतिहास बनाया करते हैं भट्टाचार्य जी इसी तरह के एक व्यक्तित्व के धनी थे एक संस्था थे जिन्होंने इतिहास बनाया जो दबंग भी थे और समझदार भी थे जिनकी हौसला जुझारूपन जिनकी हिम्मत जिनकी नॉलेज जिनका ज्ञान चैलेंजेस को फेस करने की क्षमता वह असीम थी बाल भारती स्कूल उनकी कर्म भूमि थी सारा एक्शन कमेटी का काम एनपीएससी का काम उन्होंने बाल भारती के अंदर रह करके किया 
वो एक कर्म योगी भी थे निडर थे साहसी थे तकनीकी और कानूनी बातों की गहरी समझ और पकड़ थी उनके अंदर और उनके अंदर कभी न खत्म होने वाली ऊर्जा थी वो दौड़ते थे हम उनसे दस साल छोटे होते हुए भी उनके साथ पेश नहीं रख पाते थे उनकी एंड ही वॉज ए ग्रेट स्पोर्ट्स वो मुझे याद है कहीं जाते और कहीं बच्चे क्रिकेट खेल रहे होते तो वहां रुक जाते और उनसे कहते अच्छा भाई गिव मी ए चांस और उनसे कहते कौन बेस्ट बैट्समैन है आओ और उसको आउट करके फिर वो अपनी मंजिल की तरफ बढ़ जाते उनका सूर्य जैसा तेज था चंद्रमा जैसी शांति थी आकाश जैसा विस्तार और फैलाव पृथ्वी जैसी गहराई और गंभीरता वायु जैसी स्फूर्ति जल जैसी तरलता उनके अंदर थी एक्शन कमेटी के साथ रहते हुए मैंने उनको देखा कि किस तरह से उन्होंने बड़े बड़े सीनियर एडवोकेट्स लाइक सोली सौराब जी अरुण जेटली जी अशोक देसाई आर के जैन साहब सुंदरम सलमान खुर्शीद जी और बहुत सारे जस्टिस किशन कौल उन सब के साथ उन्होंने कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग की और अपनी कानूनी प्रतिभा से उन सबको प्रभावित किया और उनको बताया कि किस तरह से क्या हमारी समस्याएं हैं He used to hold meetings with chief ministers, judges, IAS officers, and other very powerful people, governors, etc. And he would influence them and tell them frankly that, sir, this is not in your power. This is not justice. This is how you are doing injustice to the schools and to the cause of education. And <clears throat> they must uh, conduct themselves within the limits of law. He would welcome everyone. with a hug and a warm smile and provide sumptuous hospitality and give all the technical help that the visitor would need and always and every time the problem of the visitor would be solved resolved because of the valuable guidance provided by shri s k bhattacharya ji friends sushant means to be quiet but it also means bhagwan that is god and when he was god and he was quiet then he had those qualities which we find very rarely on any parameters i find that he was the man with the highest of standards his charisma his character his competence his conduct always above board on all these things he was very charismatic in bal bharati school in npsc in election committee wherever he go he, he went he left his foot marks on the uh, sand of times so we pay our respects to him and because also because he always stayed out of the comfort zone he never believed in the comfort zone and he would always take challenges and travel the untrodden path so his energy storehouse of energy great sportsman and its spirit was also like sportsman like sportsmanship and all that so i remember him when uh, i met him for the first time about 45 years ago and then we had very close association working uh, on various platforms on various institutions and i was greatly impressed whenever we went to his house his home he would welcome and his hospitality in the school and last when we met Uh, on certain occasions when uh, he celebrated his um, uh, birthday we gathered and on certain other occasions and he would always say that he would fight it out and he is a fighter and he is a winner and he would defeat this cruel hands of death but unfortunately it could not happen as amita had said that it was not expected though even then it was sudden but when it happened we never believed it so today we remember him and he will continue to be with us he will he may have physically gone away but he will always remain in our thoughts and his guidance will always sustain us in good stead so with these words i pay my very hearty respects and tributes uh, to shri s k bhattacharya ji may god give peace to the departed so thank you very much amita thank you jain sir om shanti The little space within the heart is as great as the vast universe. The heavens and the earth, the sun and the moon, the stars, fire and lightning, and the winds are there. And now you are there, for the whole universe dwells within our hearts. These lines are from the Chandogya Upanishad, 
With this, I now request Mrs. Lata Vedyanathan, former principal of Modern School Barakhamba, to say a few words in the memory of Mr. Bhattacharya. Lata? Oh, yeah. I hope I'm audible. Yes, yes, you are. Thank you, Amita. I think Ek Safar Aisa Bhi Jahan Pair Nahi Dil Dukta Hai. This was a man whom I met 20 years back, a little more than 20 years back. And I met him at the CPSC office along with Mr. Suraj Prakash. They both looked at me and he said, Welcome to Delhi. Bohat kaam karne ko hai, ajao, ajao in his accent as he said to me in the CBSE office. I was wondering who is this wonderful man I'm meeting because my association is only as old as my association with Delhi. And these two people were people I first met. And both of them said, Jaan laga do, school chala do. Bohat karne ko hai. And thereafter, as Mr. Jain just pointed it out, he, I, I, met, I had invited him on a sports day to the modern school. He came there after greeting everybody. The second lesson, he said, Ye jagah hai, where you can do anything that you want to. And when you do it, you will do it well. Only two things I want to tell you. Never be afraid of anything. And also, most importantly, don't be afraid of setbacks because they drive your intent and they drive your ambition. So just do it because we are here in the profession of dealing with children and raising them. Rest in peace, Dr. Bhattacharya. I think you have been one of the dawns of education in the Delhi landscape. And I do believe that with all that you have led and shown people, your life has been an example of who a great educator can be. Your life has been an example of who a great teacher can be as distinct from an educator. I think you traveled the journey from being an adhyapak to a guru without any hesitation rest of us are still stuck as acharyas. Therefore, I would think that you deserve our highest respect, the kind of life and advice. And the last meeting on phone that I had with him during the pandemic, he said, we were asking him about a lot of legal matters. He said, don't be afraid of circulars. Don't be afraid of anything that tells you why, questions you why, or asks you how. Just go ahead and fight your and I can tell you no court can turn down a correct educator. So I think lessons learned from him, from his lives, are so many. And all speakers before me have known him for a longer time than I do. And I think we have to find more adjectives than all that has been said about him to say that here lies a man, quiet, but with an influence that can traverse the sky the earth, and all our lives wrapped into one. Thank you, Mr. Bhattacharya. You have been such a great influence in our lives. And I hope the rest of us who are present now will be able to influence lives of our junior educators in the same way as you did. Om Shanti and God bless. Great reverence and regards to the family that has suffered his loss, telling them all the time, that he lived in a much larger family and the loss is just as much for all of us. Thank you very much, Amita, Sudha, and this opportunity to say a few words. About it. Thank you so much, Lata, for those words. I know that if Mr. Bhattacharya was listening today, he would have said, do not think of me and weep. I'm not there. I do not sleep. I'm in the thousand winds that blow. I'm in the gentle autumn's rain. I'm in the quiet bird's flight. I am a soft star that shines at night. Do not think of me and cry. I'm with you. I did not die. I now request Mr. L.B. Segal, Principal Bal Bharti Public School and former, and former chairperson of the NPSC, who had a very long professional and personal association with Mr. Bhattacharya as a colleague as his friend, to say a few words. Mr. Segal. I bow my head in the memory of Mr. S.K. Bhattacharya, 
my association with mr s k bhattacharya started on 11th april 2000 when i joined as a principal designate of bal bharati public school gangaram hospital marg and you can very well imagine my plight mr s k bhattacharya a known educationist who was principal of the school for more than 28 years the one who created that institution and me a person who had come outside from outside delhi and who who knew nothing about uh, education in delhi but let me tell you that mr s k bhattacharya who was a friend who was a guide who was a mentor and he was a great leader he made me so comfortable for the next 20 days when uh, the charge was being handed over he made me sit very close to him and everything which he did about the school he kept telling me about the same and those lessons which he gave in between regarding delhi school education act and rules the rules and regulations governing the school as such child education society which was running the school everything that was uh, something very great and made me very very comfortable and let me tell you another great thing that the moment mr s k bhattacharya retired on 30th april 2000 and i took over the charge as a principal he never ever spoke about bal bharati gangaram hospital mag anywhere and if he did so he always praised my efforts though i was not doing much i know it but he had such a positive aura and a personality that whenever he came to school he came to principal's office never went around never spoke otherwise you see it happens that when you have a very long association with an institution and something which you have created you keep wondering what the other person is doing but he never did so he is his association with the child education society the parent body of bal bharati public schools was for 52 long years he was the first joint secretary of Ch child education society he was the one who was instrumental in creation of so many other bal bharati public schools and i also remember that before 30th april when he uh, uh, you, you see uh, went out of the school and handed over the charge he brought me to npsc i think uh, i most probably it was at lakshman public school i don't remember it but he brought me there meeting yes. was happening and he introduced me to everybody and told me on my way to npsc's meeting that mr segal i am taking you to an organization which has no parallel there is no other association in india where the principals work so closely not only for their professional development but also to support one another and he said i am taking you there and i believe and i am sure that you will take lot of interest in the activities of npsc and you are going to be the future very active participant of the npsc he gave me so much of belief he was so positive his love for games and sports was something <coughs> remarkable he uh, i think you know that he was the uh, president of uh, delhi table tennis association and his love for games and sports was so much that most of the time when he walked into the school or even for a <coughs> meeting first of all he used to go to the sports field and see that whether the children are playing or not he was the chairperson he was the convener of the sports council which was set up by child education society he was the first chairman of bal bharati public school uh, training center where all the trainings of the teachers happened he was the first manager of bal bharati public school uh, pitampura and remained so till his last day his contribution to the field of education and especially to bal bharati public schools and child education society is something which cannot be forgotten and he had a legal mind he was a lover of art culture music many a times in the meeting itself when something very serious happened he used to sing a song and the mood became very light he was he was so joyous he was always happy he was so full of energy i still remember that i think we had inter unit sports meet at bharati public school noida and uh, because he was the convener 
so he was there with the chief guest to hand over that uh, lighting of uh, the mashal in the beginning and when the child started running i think he was most probably 78 at that time 77 or 78 he started running with him and he took two full rounds of that ground and we were wondering that uh, something may not happen to him but he was like that and he used to inspire us all it is just not believable that he is not with us 10 days or 12 days prior to his death he was in a meeting of the legal cell of child education society which he used to convene he was not able to speak very clearly but then he said no i want to be there and i want to participate this was his level of dedication this was his level of commitment remarkable man i bow my head and i offer my prayers shanti om shanti om shanti thank you sir those who leave us are not in the ashes that we have immersed in the rivers and the streams they are in the green woods they are in the flowing water they are hearts and minds of people whom they have left behind with this i request dr ashok pande former principal of alcon public school director alcon school npsc former npsc chair to say a few words on mr bhattacharya ashok yeah thank you thank you amita i offer my homage and salutations to the great leader all my distinguished predecessors have touched upon his life his work and the legacy that he has left behind one or two things are coming to my mind other than what has already been said about him that he knew how to value people whether junior or senior or even a complete stranger and he will bring out something in that person to make him or her feel important and valued that was something that uh, has touched me a lot the second thing that i noticed about him is that he always believed in the delegation of responsibilities he had a very clear mind very precise mind that who can do what who can deliver what and yeah, i believe it was also one of his strategies to take more and more people on board uh, so that uh, any task that he has undertaken becomes a people's task so he was a people's man he was a loving man he respected everybody he valued everybody and uh, he was very inspiring his whole persona was very inspiring people would love to go and talk to him uh, to be in his company listen to him he was a very good conversationalist as well i mean the moment he will start speaking the only option others had to listen to him in in apt attention uh the moment this news uh, of his uh, very sad demise came i received almost half a dozen calls uh, from various associations in the country those who knew me personally that to show how do i do how do i send my condolences how do i send my greet who should i approach so he was not uh, only confined to npsc or action committee or his schools around delhi or north across the country his influence and his leadership was writ large and that is why i say that today we have lost our leader we have lost our voice we have lost our uh, light house and we have also lost a person who belonged to the universe i take this opportunity to pay my homage to him on my personal behalf and on behalf of my institutions thank you very much amita thank you ashok he whom we love and lost is no longer where he was before he is now everywhere we are and will remain in our hearts forever with this i request ms sadna bhalla principal meera model school and former chairperson in npsc for whom mr bhattacharya was not only a colleague or a friend but practically a family member to say a few words sadna thank you amita Uh, i was smiling through all the, all that was being said about him because i feel his presence even in this meeting i mean such people don't go away so i uh, the school i'm sitting in and the form that it has taken has a lot to do with mr bhattacharya because he came 
uh, to inspect the school for recognition. And it was his greatness that he mentored my mother at that time and uh, guided her on what to correct and what to uh, you know, restore and the right way to go. And then came back for the inspection much later. And then years later, it was, it was strange that he was mentoring me as a, when I took over as a chairperson, always available, so affable. And it seemed like yesterday that he was sitting right across in this very office and looking at my books. And he says, this is something that I look for in every principal's office. Are there books there or not? I mean, the childlike uh, nature of his and uh, so many memories and so many conversations, very beautiful conversations, reside in me even to, till date and will always remain. So I've just put a few thoughts together, which uh, may give you an idea of what a fearless man he was and what kind of person he was. A mighty wind blew night and day. It stoked the oak tree's leaves away, then snapped it, brought snapped its boughs and pulled its bark until the oak was tired and stark. But still the oak tree held its ground. While other trees fell all around, the weary wind gave up and spoke. How can you still be standing, oak? The oak tree said, I know that you can break each branch of mine in two, carry every leaf away, shake my limbs and make me sway. But I have roots stretched in the earth, growing stronger since my birth. You'll never ever touch them, for you see, they're the deepest part of me. Until today, I wasn't even sure of just how much I could endure. But now I found with, found with thanks to you, I'm much stronger than I ever knew. And today, with so many people gathering for me, these roots are even strengthened and a testimony to the strong person that I was. He would not let anyone see the terrors he held inside, yet he was not afraid. He was strong for everyone else on the outside, always there for whoever was in need. He was a rock. He knew no greed. So sincere in all he did, kindness always in his heart he knew. He was a strong man, the strongest we have ever known, gentle in his eyes, the twinkle in his eyes and the smile never leaving him. His generosity flew, soared beyond the skies. He was real, and that is rare, positively, one of a kind, a caring and loving man, a respectful being, an exceptional leader, a strong and courageous man, who when somebody said that it couldn't be done, he would chuckle and reply, that maybe it couldn't, but he would be one who wouldn't say so till he tried. So he buckled right in with a trace of a grin on his face. If he worried, he hid it. He started to sing as he tackled the thing that couldn't be done and he did it. Somebody scoffed, oh, you'll never do that. At least no one ever has done it. But he took off his coat and he took off his hat. And the first thing he knew, he'd begin doing it. With a lift of his chin and a bit of a grin, Without any doubting, he started to sing as he tackled the thing that couldn't be done and he did it. And he did it for us millions of times. He fought for us, he fought for all the schools. There are thousands to tell him he cannot do it. There were thousands of prof prophecies of failure. There are thousands to point out to him one by one the, the dangers that wait to assail him. But he could just buckle in and with a bit of a grin, just take off his coat and go and do it, just start to sing, he would tackle the thing that cannot be done, he would do it. That is a man, a courageous, intelligent, astute, extremely hardworking, punctual, generous, sharp, learned, a very keen sportsman, a family man with a strong sense of loyalty and a wit about him. He, but interestingly, he also, in all this generosity and happiness and joyous person that he was, he knew when to raise his voice and for what to raise his voice and was always so appropriate of taking up a course, uh, taking up uh, cudgels for anybody who needed his help. His strong sense of loyalty, whether it was NPSC, whether it was Bal Bharti, whether it was Action Committee, like somebody already said, he, was, he made everybody feel so special. And he stood by each one of them as if they were the only ones for him. And that is the interaction I've had with him. And that's the privilege and that's the memory I will always carry. So towards the end, the day he got to know that he was suffering, he was like, I will bounce back. 
and we were texting each other. And I think this is this tells it all what he was praying for. He says, let me not pray to be sheltered from dangers, but be fearless in facing them. Let me not beg for the, for the stilling of my pain, but for the heart to conquer all this pain. A bird doesn't sing because it has an answer. It sings because he had a song. Today, Mr. Bhattacharya has left us with this immense body of work and a path that he has shown, and we need to redeem it and carry on his good work because he has left us to carry on his song. I hope and pray wherever he is, and I believe that he's around us, and I, I cannot mourn him because he's so alive in each one of us. My prayers to the family. Om Shanti. Thank you very much, Sadna. I remember that Mr. Patacharya and I had a very interesting relationship. We were always agreeing to disagree. And I think in that disagreement, there was so much of growth and so much of learning. I remember that when I was the chair of the NPSC, and I suppose when you are sort of a little younger, you're a little impetuous. And Mr. Bhattacharya and I were at loggerheads about various concepts and various ideas. And the great thing about him is that after we finished the fisty cups, he would say, Acha, Kashmiri khana thoda mujhe bhej dena dabbe mein. And then I would go home and I would cook the meat. And I, and being a good Bengali, he would, he would take it and he would have it. And then I would say, Bartan to lota dijiye. And then again, the fights would start between me and Mr. Bhattacharya. So we've had the most amazing relationship because in all our conversations, in all our protests, in all that transpired amongst us, both of us, I think, respected each other very deeply. And I'll never forget that I was so touched by him that just, I think two years ago or last year, uh, he rang me and he said to me that, you know, I want to meet you. And we both met in one of those windows of COVID. And he said, you know, you must become a regular member of the action committee because I really value you. I value your advice. And I kept saying that, you know, I, with your kind of wisdom, the fact that I don't have that kind of legal understanding, wh where is it that I would be of any use? And he said, no, no, you don't understand. Um, you know, it's so important that we come together um, and we'll be a much more stronger force so Mr. Bhattacharya, thank you so much for the way that you were with me. Thank you so much for accepting me with all my protests and agreements. I can never forget you. And in a very big way, you have also helped me to grow as an educator, as a thought leader. With that, um, as we draw to an end, I'm going to say a few words and then I will request Ms. Asha Prabhakar, who is the principal of Bal Bharti School and also the vice chair of the NPSC to bring this prayer service to an end. So Mr. Bhattacharya, may deep peace of the running water be with you. May deep peace of the flowing air be with you. May deep peace of the quiet earth be with you. May deep peace of the shining stars be with you. God bless you wherever you are. Om Shanti. Asha, over to you. Thank you, Amita, ma'am. Shiksha. Sharir, man, bhavnao, or buddhi ke vikas ka mila jula roop hi to hai. Shri S.K. Bhattacharya ke ye shabd aaj bhi mujhe yaad aa rahe hai. Har vidyati ko uttam shiksha dene ke liye unka josh, junoon, और दिल्ली एनसीआर के स्कूलों को एकजुट खड़ा करने में उनका अथक प्रयास कभी भी भुलाया नहीं जा सकता आज चाहे वो हमसे बहुत दूर चले गए हैं लेकिन उनका यही जज्बा उनकी मधुर स्मृतियों के रूप में हमेशा हमारे साथ बना रहेगा और हमें प्रेरित करता रहेगा एनपीएससी के सभी स्कूल NPSC team, NPSC ke sare life members, NPSC ke honorary members, 
इन सब की ओर से हम परमपिता ईश्वर से यही प्रार्थना करते हैं कि श्री एस के भट्टाचार्य जी की पुण्य आत्मा को शांति और मोक्ष देकर उन्हें अपने चरणों में ईश्वर स्थान दे साथ ही उनके परिजनों और हम सभी को इस दुख सहन करने की शक्ति प्रदान करें ओम शांति ओम शांति शत शत नमन आशा जी नमस्कार एंड थैंक यू जस्ट बिफोर वी क्लोज द सर्विस आई वुड लाइक मिसिज मालनी नारायणन प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द आर्मी स्कूल former chairperson of the npsc to say a few words on mr bhattacharya malni thank you so much amita um bhattacharya sir's role in my life i can only say that he was a father figure to me while we connected officially but at a personal level he was more than the president action committee my association goes back to many many years when i first met him as a young teacher from mothers international when he spotted me he said i hope you are with maruk i hope you would work with maruk for the npsc and that was my first introduction to bhattacharya sir a powerful and a towering personality whenever sir spoke one could only listen and after sadhana it is there is very little left for me to say an excellent orator somebody who knew how to convey his opinion and somebody who deeply felt for the two organizations that he was a part of his vision and foresight has touched many many organizations every time we went to him for an opinion he was very very clear in what he had to convey the last meeting that we had where sandhya and i sadhna and i went we went to his office and he so proudly showed his entire collection of legal documents which he had collected over the years where he had moved from being a principal to someone who looked after an umbrella organization so when i heard of his illness it was heartbreaking somebody so spirited somebody who is so full of life somebody we all looked up to him and somebody who we all felt was a leader who would you know look after us for many many years suddenly this illness which took him away from us but the only solace was that he did not suffer for long each time he went to the hospital he came back with renewed energy and that assured us that he would be with us he would be there to guide us but the news that he passed away so suddenly was devastating and my deepest condolences to his family our prayers in their moment of deep sorrow it's a big loss for this organization and the many who look up to him for his guidance his wonderful repository of knowledge would not be lost to all of us his legacy would carry on and i'm sure his spirit would continue to guide us through these difficult times thank you amita for this beautiful prayer ceremony and thank you for giving me an opportunity to speak even after the ceremony was over thank you thank you so much malini with that we draw to an end of this prayer service on behalf of the chairperson mrs sudha acharya and all members of the npsc thank you all for being with us and ultimately i think that i would like to end with these words which very categorically say that mr bhattacharya you may have passed on but you will always remain enshrined in our hearts and lives forever namaskar om shanti namaskar namaskar 
नमस्कार